this is Uncle Momo's music reaction channel where I provide my views on talented artists from around the world, both established artists and non-established artists. And I promise you that you won't be disappointed whatsoever. So why don't you come and join me in discovering amazing, talented artists and bringing it to the forefront of my channel for us to view. Now, my next reaction, we're going over to Ukraine. This particular track is carried out by Monotic and this particular song in itself, I hope I've got it right. Where is it? Da, 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 da. It's the pronunciation that what I'm looking for. Um, is it Molchalam or Mol uh, Chunam? Is a Mochulam. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. In the description page, it goes Mochulam is one of the strongest and most favorite compositions of made in Ukraine music fans. Even before the release, several million people listened to her live performance. A shout, um, a shout appeal to those who are silent about the terrible crimes committed by the Russian authorities on sovereign Ukrainian territories. So that's um, a little bit in the description page um, of um, Monote Monotech's um, channel. Um, I haven't reacted to Monotech in a while. Last time when I did react, I put it on uh, my Instagram and his um, his amazing wife sent me a, a, a lovely uh, message. So thank you very much for that. Um, to be fair, um, so far out of all of the amazing reactions that I've carried out from um, Ukraine, I say about 95% of the artists that I have the pleasure of reacting to have uh, replied back to myself and sent me um, some amazing messages and that's always been like that um, from from my first reaction to Ukrainian music and um, that was over a year ago. I've got roughly about now about 900 reactions um, from um, various artists um, coming from Ukraine. I will be um, starting from next week reacting to um, Ukrainian artists who um, are just you know uh, new Ukrainian artists who you might not have heard of um, they're not as established as you know Yelena Plash, um, Yelena Pash or um, your Onikar or your Monotex or Ocean Elsies or um, Boombox. I can carry on in it or, or your Tina Carroll um, or Dorothea, <laughs> um, but they they present themselves in or NK. Um, they present themselves um, in in that same kind of um, realm. Um, it's just that. They haven't got as much of a wider platform as as these amazing, um, massive Ukrainian artists um, at the moment. Um, also, shout out to Antitilla. Thank you very much for your message. Um, it was amazing. So, so um, I know you, you always send me messages in time when I do send, um, do reaction. But um, yeah, I just like to say thank you very much for that. Anyway, look. Let's go straight into my next reaction, shall we? If you haven't done already, please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the notification button to indicate to you when my next uploads will be. Now, without further ado, you know what we're here for. Great vocabs and a damn good video audio music. Can you dig it? The visuals are amazing, once again, heartfelt. It still says a storyline, doesn't it? Do you know what it's got this kind of пока он в нашей крови тонет, быть может не и захлебнется вскоре. От этого не убежать. Да как нам это выдержать? Вот эти силы, но земли проси, вот не наши небеса, свободные, что там за люди. If you can translate for me, that'd be amazing. I'm 
Скажи, что он под маленький, а то написал гитару. И как теперь нам с этим жить? Нет, как нам бы жить? Быть может нас услышат Вывод эти силы Просим мы просили В огне наши небеса Свободы Что там за люди Кто их осудит За закрытые глаза Когда вокруг горят дома И ты молчишь, а я кричу Это тоже дело твоих чувств И ты же видишь, все скажи, как ты молча будешь жить потом. Во мне не убить любовь, во мне не убить мечты, во мне увидеть наших слез потом. Во мне убить мою любовь, во мне убить мои мечты, наши дети обретут свой дом. Надо нас спасать, что за вздох? Включи голову, выключи телевизор. Yeah, I don't know what the lyrical content is. So that was Monetic with is it Multinum? Let me know about the pronunciation. I'm not really too sure about that. I'm about to say 95% confidence that I got it wrong. Um, this particular track, I wish that it had. Um, look, I I put it on to the uh, auto-generated uh, translation and it was only translating some of the lyrical content and I wasn't too confident that what they was translating was actual, you know, was correct. So I didn't put the translation on. But, you know, I am looking forward to you guys um, letting me know or translating it for me so I can put it in the description page. Once again, the visuals has a strong um, storyline to it. And what you saw with individuals is, you know, whether it be on the child's back or in um, in various little uh, corners of the actual visuals that you'll see what um, the war's about and how it's affected and, and the damage and the destruction that is caused um, as well. I, when I saw uh, the child, um, they're winning the child out from the hospital um, van, the ambulance, oh, that's it. From there, I was just trying to keep myself, trying to maintain myself to some kind of somewhat decorum, but you just can't. And for me, from a viewing perspective, where I can't even hold my own decorum, I don't, I can't even imagine how the Ukrainians are um, in that situation with their children. Out of everything that's going on, you just don't. Everyone will see your children being affected in this. This is going to leave a, a massive stain um, on them. Um, and you know, you know, if anything that happens to you as a child, it, it still carries on to you into your adulthood. So if you don't, you know, like for instance, if you got bitten by a dog when you was a child, nine times out of ten, you're not going to like a dog when you're older. You know, that kind of thing. Um, I, and I can't see how once this is over, and it will be over, how it's going to, how these two countries are going to, uh, or the people of these two countries are going to um, get along. Do you know? After wars, like these two countries, how, how, how are you going to get along? You know, like, like for instance, like World War I and World War II, the Great World War uh, with Germany, um, after the war, I mean, it's, it's, you know, it's a hundred years later, so to speak, um, Germany still haven't got an army because after the the World War, it was um, they wrote this treaty or whatever that Germany is not allowed to have an army, so Germany hasn't got an army. Uh, so they still, do you know what I mean? It, it, there's got to be some kind of assurances that this is not going to happen again. 
And I don't know how you're going to make that, how, how that's going to happen. I really, 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 really don't. Um, I think from that, I think Ukraine has to join um, NATO, first and foremost. Um, or else is this is just going to carry on reoccurring. Anytime when Ukraine thinks about doing this, oh, Russia can, it means, oh, Russia can jump in and say, no, well, actually, if you do that, we're going to jump in and, and, and bomb your country again. Nah. Nah. I'm sorry, that's, that's, not, the, that's not the way. This, every kind of um, Ukrainian um, song that supports or encourages uh, or heals uh, the Ukrainian people, um, it has a massive storyline, it has a potent stance. It's just like, it's just amazing what the artists are doing right now. It really is amazing what the Ukrainian artists are doing right now for. They're so patriotic and it shows, at this time it shows even more than ever. Do you know? It really, really does more than ever. And uh, my heart goes out to all of you, every single one, really. Look, if you, um, uh, th there's a number of um, Ukrainian artists that are um, doing a number of projects and there's a number of uh, links for donations and all that stuff. Um, please, um, I go to Instagram, Instagram account, you don't need to follow me, um, but that's where I'd start sharing certain information. I will start putting it onto my community page as well. Um, there is the only reason why I haven't put it on my community page, but there's not a lot of people that actually look into my community page. I'm only about to say 20 or 30 um, people at the moment. And if it was more than that, then I certainly would have put it on there uh, for, the, uh, wider, for the wider audience. But this leaves so much debate for a non-Ukrainian and certainly for the Western people that are looking in and want to help more than what they're doing rather than just being a somebody just watching TV and having a, a conversation um, about what they're seeing. Um, that's what I'm, I think that the world is watching and not doing as much as what they sh uh, can be doing, you know, against this, uh, uh, against this bully. It's as simple as that. I'm not going to stop talking because I could have carried on for ages. Um, but yeah, Monotech, you know, you never disappoint me with whatever you do. You really don't. And this is to be expected when you do things, uh, when you, you know, it's to be expected from you, uh, from, from you, Monotech. It really does. Because I know that, you know, you would have been, you know, feet deep into, uh, in supporting uh, your country. You're very, very patriotic. And, and, and I love that about yourself. Um, one person, uh, uh, there was a debate about, um, you know, I asked a question about why do so many uh, Ukrainians speak Russian? And I got the answer. Um, surely, after this war, the patriotics, I don't know, I, I don't know what you're going to do regarding um, that second language. Are you going to block it where you say, OK, from now on, no one in Ukraine uh, is allowed to speak Russian, you know, only speak Ukrainian and start the patriotic um, feelings from there. Um, I'm sure that at the moment, um, there's a number of people that are, are, are not um, speaking Russian uh, for the, you know, maybe, I don't know, I mean, is anybody over in Ukraine um, speaking Russian, still speaking Russian? Or is it a case of like, no, we're not, we're not even going to think about that, you know, especially what's going on here. I think it kind of be weird to speak Russian in Ukraine, especially what's going on. In, um, what's going on. Um, but look, Oh, apologies for blabbering. I'm, I'm blabbering on. I, I don't, I, you know, I, I'm talking like I know. I don't know. I really don't know. Um, I'm just looking from a, I'm just looking for, from a Western perspective outside the box. Looking, the only information that we get at the moment is through the news. And you know, the news, as you know, it only shows you only shows you what they want you to, to want you what you see. You know, they only want to, that's it. They only show you what they want you to see. So um, I, I don't know, it's, it's down to, it's, you know, you guys have been absolutely amazing in opening my eyes and to show me in depth exactly what's going on and exactly how you feel. So please continue with that. Uh, apologies for dragging, um, you know, my conversation out for so long. Um, and I'm sure that, you know, uh, feel free to, you know, press pause and think, look, you know, Uncle Momo, you're talking way too much, you know, that kind of thing. Um, apologies for that. But for now, that's absolutely amazing. It really was. I salute you. Не убить мечты во мне, увидеть наших слез потом. Во мне убить мою любовь, во мне убить мои мечты. Наши дети обретут свой дом. И не надо нас спасать, что за вздор. Включи голову, выключи телевизор. 